I'm Umi and this is Aesthetic B Blog. Hi, Vicki Hamilton here, Aesthetic B Blog, where all things are creative. And today I'm with my management client, Umi, who is a musician, singer, songwriter, composer, arranger. Is there anything else we need to like add to that list? I think you pretty much covered it. Umi has just moved here from Perth, Australia, and he won Best Instrumental at the Australian Independent Music Awards, and um, looking to make it into the American market. So why don't you tell me a little bit about winning the award and um, your process? I've got a love for Irish music, uh, river dance, uh, a lot of the traditional stuff. Good friend of mine, Anthony. Um, he's he's quite Irish, and he's put me onto it. So I I came up with, a, with um, some of this music. It's about five and a half minutes long, the tune, and uh, I took it to him and said, oh, you know, what can we do with this?" Cool. What's the track called? Uh, this one's called uh, "The Adventures of Johnny Stenchfoot." You know, when you're writing songs, tell me about your process. How do you start it up and get it going? It's kind, of, it's kind of a different headspace depending on what you're doing. Uh, if I'm writing some, uh, a song just for my own personal artistic benefit, I'll, I can never really try. I have to just wait until it, it, it comes. Uh, if, you know, other artists will know that, that feeling where you just have to just get something out and it's inside and you've got to put pen to paper and get your guitar out. That's for the personal stuff. Um, I had a band in Australia for quite a few years, which unfortunately has come to an end, but with that one I would generally sit around, um, I'd come up with a track, or uh, Mikey would, would play something on acoustic, a few ideas, and I'd take that away and do all the parts and Pro Tools, send them out to the band, and that's basically how that process was. If it's a film thing, uh, you're, generally given, uh, you're generally given a deadline and some guidelines of what to do and it's just a matter of banging out the cues. And that one, you have to be quite mechanical with it, as well as artistic. So but do they send you the film clips and you lay in the music? Yeah, you or? generally will, will sit with the director uh, and they might have temp music, which is basically a, a rough cut of the kind of vibes that they're maybe a music supervisor might have put on there uh, and then they'll send that to you and you've got to come up with something in that vein or maybe just uh, another TV show as a bit of a reference possibly. So you've just uh, arrived in America, yep. what do you hope to accomplish here? Um, I guess here is where all the big studios are so um, I'm hoping to, uh, to get into film scoring a lot more than I have been. There's not so much opportunity for that in Australia. It's quite a small market and you pretty much have to live in Sydney or you're going to struggle with it. So do you have any advice for upcoming musicians? Um, I think uh, one of the things some people learn it sooner than others is just to, to really figure out what you like as an artist, the music that you like to listen to, the stuff that you like to write because every day um, we hear opinions about what's good and what isn't and this is what you should be doing or we should be sounding like that. Uh, I think it's really important to, to just, you know, when, you've, when you finish a track, when you've just written it or you've, you've, you've recorded everything, you're producing and mixing, when you hear it, you should just really get a good feeling from that and say, okay, right, even if nobody else gets to hear this, I'm really happy with it and I've kind of done what I set out to do. So Umi, tell me what inspires you. Oh, that, that's a big one. Um, I guess there's going to be different areas. As a guitar player, I mean, that's easy. I grew up on all the guys from the 80s and 90s. Uh, Nuno Betancourt, Richie Kotzen, um, uh, you know, Steve Vai, of course, and Jason Becker, all the David Lee Roth, Van, Van Halen era. I loved all of that. Um, and then a lot of jazz uh, guys as well, guys like Mike Stern, uh, Scott Henderson, John Schofield, I'm a big fan of all that stuff. So how do we find you? Uh, I have a website, uh, umicapello.com, you can check it out. Um, there's a few YouTube videos out there, there will be a lot more coming in the next few weeks, uh, two months. I'm working with a director friend of mine, John Hoyos, who's going to be helping me with that. So now we're going to look at a clip of The Adventures of Johnny Stinchfoot, which is the track that won the award, and here it is.
Aesthetic V-Blog with Umi, and we'll catch you next time.